I am Ben Austin, your New Rules Golf Coach. I had a question on Facebook recently, and the player asked, Ben, how do I get more hip turn through impact? Now, we have to understand the caliber of player that we're talking about here, so this player is going to be a very good player. Now, if I just had a person that can't break 100 work on this, that might actually make them slice more, right? So, this is a good thing I want everybody to understand, and the first concept we're going to talk about today is disassociation. Now, it's kind of, this sounds like a horror film, but it's actually a very good thing in golf. So, disassociation means the amount that you can separate your upper body from your lower body. So, a good way to work on this and to understand this is to do a simple exercise where you take a club, lay it across your shoulders, and take your golf posture. Now, what you're going to do is leave this club here without moving it and see how much can you open your hips or turn them to the left and how much you can turn them to the right. Now, another way to do this would be to do the same exercise but keep your hips still and turn your shoulders without moving your hips and turn your shoulders without moving your hips. So what I'm doing there is I'm disassociating my upper body from my lower body. Most players that I see when I ask them to do this drill will go like that. They will turn everything. Now we need to disassociate our lower body from our upper body. Now once we can do this and the more that you can keep your shoulders here and turn your hips, this is going to help with getting more hip turns through impact. Now, a great drill you can work on is a very simple drill. And this drill basically has three parts. The first part that you're going to do is you're going to take your setup position, and the first step is you're basically going to preset where you want to be at impact. So what you're going to do is just take your hands, push them forward, and then turn your hips as much as you can. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold this for a 10 count and just really feel your hips open, hands forward, and just really hold it. Second step, take a short back swing, same feeling without hitting the ball. Try to get your hips to turn as much as you can and your hands forward and hold it. And then on the third step, you're going to actually hit the ball. Now we can get into more advanced topics of how the hips actually work, but this is a very good drill at all levels to get your body to start working a little bit more. Now, what I want you to be careful of is when I give this drill to a very high handicap, more than likely you're gonna get here and just turn, which is gonna make you slice the ball more. So understand that this player that I'm talking to is a, is a better player, okay? now. If I do this drill, I should be able to get my hips to turn a little bit more while keeping my hands forward, and this is gonna get me to strike the ball more solid and give me a little bit more distance. So let me try this drill and see what happens. So I'm going to set up, and step one, I'm going to turn my hips and push my hands forward. Just really feel my hips and my hands. Step two, short swing. Don't hit the ball, just kind of feel it. And then on step three, I'm going to hit the ball and try to feel my hips really open. Pretty good shot. Now, if you do this drill, you'll get your body to activate a little bit more. You'll be able to turn your hips a little bit more. And understand that this is a better player that we're talking to, not somebody in the 110, 120 range. 